when you think about Shabbat, are you thinking about things that you do or things that you don't do? Actions or lack of action? Well, many of us associate Shabbat with things that we don't do. We don't work, we don't labor hard, we don't engage in the 39 melachot of Shabbat. And it seems like more of a don't type of mitzvah. And yet, when you look at this week's Parsha, at the very, very famous Pasuk, it says, V'shamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat, the Jews kept Shabbat la'asot et ha-Shabbat, to do the Shabbat l'dorotam b'ritolam, for future generations. And the question is, why does it say la'asot et ha-Shabbat? Why does it say that Shabbat is something that was done actively, when in fact it's something that is not done and active, but more of an inactive? And there's a beautiful answer given by Rabbi Avram Sofer, the Ktav Sofer, in his magnum opus, where he says as follows, when someone rests on Shabbat, it can be seen as something that involves more, uh, more inaction and it's more of someone who's prioritizing the value of rest. On the other hand, it can also be seen as a statement. You can say, look, I'm observing Shabbat because I recognize the creation of the universe. I recognize Yitziat Mitzrayim. I recognize the sanctity of life and humanity. And that is La Sotet Shabbat. And he goes on to explain that's why it's followed immediately thereafter with the term Lidorotam Brit Olam for future generations. Because he says if you just look at Shabbat as a day of rest, as a day of inaction, it's not going to be a message that carries. It's not going to go on to future generations. But if you see it as a testimony, as an active statement to the world, that the world isn't a ceaseless cycle of work and work and work, rather it is something holy, something with sanctity, then you will merit the blessing of Lidorotam Britulam, of being able to teach that message to future generations. Shabbat Shalom.